All the years I've been working with travellers, when I first worked with them, I thought it was, why are they so secretive over everything? Why don't they tell you anything? They never give you a direct date. But since I've got to know them, you realise why they've got to be so vigilant. Because as soon as venues find out the travellers, they will cancel. They will give them all the excuses in the world, but they, they'll cancel on them. I need that. That's it, underskirts in the car. Yeah. Thelma and her assistant Pauline are off to Northern Ireland to meet a traveller bride to be who is even more secretive than most. And she has every reason to be. When we went to Ireland last time, we booked into a hotel and we made appointments for everyone. When the manager found out there, there were travellers, he just stopped it. He come up and complained. These are decent people. They weren't like sort of uh, in club outfits or anything like that. They were just dressed normal like everyone else. In fact, a lot better. With a few diamonds on the boots. Yeah. You know, that doesn't, <laughs> you know, what does that say? You know, other minority groups seem to have found a voice and are now being heard. But with the travellers, no one listens. Thelma and Pauline are on their way to meet 17-year-old bride-to-be Priscilla. That's my engagement album. Priscilla became engaged two years ago at the tender age of 15. Oh my God, that's me. Are you them Why, what's wrong with that? <laughs> no, I don't like them for I'm not happy to be. <laughs> Priscilla left school aged 14, having struggled to fit in. I didn't like school. Why not? I hated it. Oh, I hated it. I didn't like it whatsoever. Did you mix with settled people at school? Yeah, I had some friends, but I got bullied in that in school. Why? I don't know, it's just probably just being a traveller. That's probably why. I didn't like it. I left it very early. But I would have done beauty if I wasn't getting bullied and I would have stayed on, but I never liked it. I hated it. What do they used to say to you? Oh, just loads of names, no bullying. That's really it. I don't really want to say it on camera. Watch the whole pause. <laughs> Having arrived at their hotel, Thelma and Pauline have arranged to meet Priscilla to show her the bridesmaids' dresses. They also need to find out the date of the wedding from this very secretive bride. Now today, we hope she's going to, well, she's going to have to tell us because we're coming over to dress her, so she's going to have to give us the date so we can arrange. But I think this one's been about five dates up to now. Just doing the last final touches. <laughs> this isn't even your dress, this is your bride's name, come on. Priscilla has arrived accompanied by her mother, who's very private and insists on not being filmed. Turned out nice, haven't they? The small ones is just, they're beautiful. But I think they need something. Something more. I think they need a couple more diamonds or something here and here. It's really, really beautiful. All your room's getting done in this as well, in red and gold, yeah? Where oh, you, well, you're having your wedding. Is yeah. it getting all dressed in red and gold? Did you have any problems getting your hotel? We did it's at the start, definitely. Problems. The jet really bad. Yeah. But they still don't know that we are travelers. They still don't know. They still don't know we're travelers. It's, um, it's, it's not pathetic. So, they Do won't you... give them. No. We got. We no. did have a, to a hotel booked and they cancelled on us. <laughs> Thelma is eventually entrusted with the date of Priscilla's wedding, but only away from the camera. She's even more secretive than any of the other brides because she doesn't want anyone to spill the beans and that they find out the travels and they cancel our wedding on it. To avoid discrimination, traveller brides are very secretive about their wedding plans. With her wedding one week away, 17-year-old Priscilla is travelling over from Northern Ireland to collect her dress. Pauline, do you want to just come and help me pull this out? Dressmaker Thelma and her team have been working night and day to get the bridal gown and eight bridesmaid dresses ready in time. There has also been a special request for a bridal version of a mini-me. Native to 
like Northern Ireland really is the mini bride. Uh, and it's usually um, a favourite niece or the little sister, and it's got to be identical to the bride, but just a smaller version. Come on! Now I'm going to do this. This is my big reveal. Hold on. Ta -da! <laughs> For Priscilla, the wait is over to see the wedding dress she has dreamed of her whole life. <laughs> oh, she's crying. She's crying. Mini bride thing. Oh, yeah, this is the same. Yeah, they're beautiful. Have you seen a nicer one? No. No. <laughs> Disney fairy tales are a popular theme with traveller brides. Priscilla's dress design was inspired by the princess and the frog. I think your daddy will cry when he sees you. I think he will now. Yeah, he will. Do you know anything? Twelve or one. You're definitely all getting married, aren't you? Definitely. hundred percent. I wouldn't be wearing this. Do you want to see how you, how you sit in it, love? Let me just show you. All you do is get over to your thing at the back, like that. Yeah. Go. You feel it on the back of your knees. Can you feel it? Now sit. That's it. The date for Priscilla's wedding has changed several times because the family have had problems securing a venue. After I got engaged, we were at the um, wedding reception. And they found out we were travelling and cancelled straight away. Mm. And said that said that they had the um the, we were redeco redecorating from September till after Christmas. So how could you redecorate that yeah. length in time? You had to do the whole hotel over again. But it's upsetting, yeah. It is upsetting because you know why they won't give it. You know in your heart why they won't give it. It's upsetting for the first couple of weeks and then you have to get over it sooner or later. As a result of the prejudice. Priscilla's mother doesn't want their current venue to find out they're travellers. The Thelma has been told the date of the wedding, but the location remains a closely guarded secret. Not even the groom knows where it is. Nobody knows where it is. For her, it's so important that the secret's kept, that she, she hasn't even told us where it is. Um, and, you know, most of them do tell us, you know, because obviously we're going to go and dress her. We've got to know where to go. But she will not tell us, unknown certain times, where this venue is. She is terrified if somebody tells them that the travellers that it'll be cancelled and, uh, you know, a little girl will be devastated. <laughs> Back in Northern Ireland, plans are coming together for the perfect white wedding. That's my room, but all is in here is dresses. 17-year-old Priscilla is three days away from her big day. That's underskirts, wedding top, hair pieces. Having collected her dresses from Thelma, she's worried her designs might be spotted before the wedding. Can we open that window? That window? I can't open it. Why not? The people that see my colours and my dress. The travellers are behind us. So they'll peek through the window? They won't peek, but if they do, they'd see. They won't, they won't be that bad like I'm peeking. But if, they, if I open the window, they'll see the colours. The colours of your dresses? Yeah. My veil. And this is the best thing of all in here. You have something old, something new, something blue. The blue's always on your garter. Are you going to be a good wife? Hopefully. <laughs> it depends what he thinks of me. Have you been anywhere with him by yourself? I sat in our living room with him by myself. Chat. So that means that you've been quite well behaved. Yes. Very well, very, very, very well behaved. <laughs> Due to travel to Northern Ireland to dress bride-to-be Priscilla, Thelma and Pauline have been hearing rumours that her mother Mary has lied to them about the wedding date. I've just had a phone call and there's no wedding on the 30th. 
Really? No. That's the third phone call we've yeah. had then. And there's definitely a reliable source, yeah? A reliable source told me no wedding. I spoke to Mary this morning and she insists it's on the 30th. Mm -hmm. The dressmakers decide to investigate. It's just, I'm a bit stuck, you see. I've um, actually got a bride's dress to bring over to a wedding. You haven't got them? Definitely not the 30th of September. OK, bye, bye. It's either the 30th of September or October, beginning of October sometime. Pauline eventually gets hold of the one person who will definitely tell them the truth. Phil, I've just spoke yeah. to the priest and it's definitely not the 30th. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Yeah. Unbelievable, unbelievable. You, do you know what you don't know what date it is? No. No. And she's let us book them tickets. Thelma has turned away other potential bookings and already made travel arrangements, so the false wedding date could cost her thousands of pounds. Most of the times, if we're not going to dress them, we go, we don't want to know the date and we don't want to know where it is, and then nobody can ever say, well, it was you that told us or whatever. So we don't want to know. But when they're asking us to go over and dress the girl, you know, which is, it's not down the road, it's not, you know, round the corner somewhere. We've got to actually book. Uh, it's just out of order to do something like that. Were they going to leave us sitting in a hotel room or tell us the day before? You just don't know. And it just makes you so angry, you know, that, you know, I'm not a die-hard, you know, traveller support. I'm not saying that. But I do stick up for them all the time. It makes you angry. You know, we worked really hard to make sure that it was perfect for her. And yet they can't even give us the right date. God, I'm so angry. I just, I'm going to have to phone her. Tell you what, Mary, I was right, wasn't I? I was right. I knew, I knew it wasn't on that day. I knew it wasn't. Dressmaker Thelma has worked for years gaining the trust of the travelling community. I feel like, you know, you've shit on me, basically. Having arranged to travel to Northern Ireland, she has just learned that the bride's mother appears to have lied to her about the wedding date. Pauline said, yeah, we're booking the tickets now to come over. Why didn't you tell us then? You're afraid of what? I'm afraid now because I've lost out. I've, all that money I've paid for tickets and hotels. Also, you've took the underskirts, Mary, and you knew that that wedding wasn't until then. We've got other weddings to do, you know, by the 20th. If you don't get, if we don't get the underskirts back, Mary, you'll owe us two grand by the time that comes because it's £100 a day extra. On the, we give you a week. You know, I'm going to lose out, Mary, and I'm not going to do it. All these girls have worked their bollocks off here to get it done for you for that day. And all I can say is you've lied to me right the way along the line. So how can I trust you? Do you know what I mean? Hey, 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 blah, 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 blah. don't be turning this round on me. Please believe me, I am not going to lose out on this. I've worked with travellers too long and I am not going to lose out on this. Are you upset? No. God. <laughs> Sometimes it just gets you, you feel a bit hurt more than anything, a bit like... Why hasn't she trusted me when all the others do? And you do feel hurt. You, you know, you, you feel like I've put as much effort as we possibly can into this to make it perfect for them. And that's obviously why they come to us, because that's what we do. We do it well. And they've just... <clears throat> she's basically just kicked us in the teeth, really, and lied to us, where... Well, I'd call it a lie, where they probably wouldn't call it a lie. You know, that's... You, they're used to being like that. They wouldn't look on it like I'm looking on it. They wouldn't be upset about it because they wouldn't look that they were lying to us at all. They would look at that as they're protecting themselves. That's what they're doing. After being challenged about deceiving Thelma, the family decided they didn't want their wedding to be filmed. <laughs> 